So how does chemistry impact your daily life? That's what we'll be talking about in this module. So this information comes from chapter two of our textbook. And in this module, the goal is for the learners to identify the states of matter, recognize the properties of water that facilitate life, recognize the interactions between hydrophobic and hydrophilic molecules, and to define energy-rich molecules. So three main parts to the lecture for this module will be discussing the states of matter, hydrophobic and hydrophilic interactions, and energy-rich chemicals. Biology is a derived study, or to put it another way, to understand biology, you need to understand chemistry. To understand chemistry, you need to understand physics. And to understand physics, you need to understand math. All of these fields of science impact your life on a daily basis. So we'd like to understand chemistry, and so we have to start with some concepts from physics. First off is the concept of matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Matter is composed of atoms, which can then combine to form molecules. There are three states of matter solid, liquid, and gas. The three states of matter all depend on how the individual molecules move in relation to each other. And so here in this image, we can see water in its three different states. We have solid water in the form of ice and snow, liquid water in the streaming river, and water in its gas or vapor form in the atmosphere itself. Solid objects are made of molecules or atoms which do not move in relation to each other. The molecules are constantly vibrating, but they are not changing their shape or position related to the neighboring molecules. Liquids are substances where molecules are able to move in relation to each other, but the molecules continue to have adhesion to their neighbors. In the case of these water molecules, hydrogen bonds are constantly forming and breaking between the individual molecules. Lastly, in a gas, molecules in a substance are moving so quickly that they do not adhere to each other. at all. Instead, the molecules, if they come in contact with each other, will bounce off and move in opposite directions. Because of the movement of the molecules in liquids and gases, they have two properties that solids do not. First off, they will conform to the shape of their container, meaning they'll take on the shape of the container. Dissolved molecules will also move from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. This is known as diffusion. Water has several properties that allow for life on this planet as we know it. Water can exist in all three states of matter on the surface of the planet. Some of the characteristics of water that allow it to be essential for life. First off, water is polar, meaning it has partial positive and negative electrical charges. It sticks to each other. It sticks to other charged molecules. Next off, water stabilizes temperature. It takes a lot of energy to change the temperature of water, and so environments where there are a lot of water, their temperature is pretty stable. Drier environments are more prone to 
extreme temperatures, both high and low. Water is an excellent solvent, meaning water can dissolve many things. Water is cohesive, meaning it will stick to itself, and this becomes very important for movement of water in organisms and environments. And lastly, water is less dense when frozen. This is why ice floats on top of water, and it turns out that that's essential for life as we know it. If ice sank when it froze, all of the oceans would end up being filled with frozen water. Lakes and streams would be the same way. Only the very surface regions would ever melt. Water is important for making the earth habitable for life, and it's important for making up living organisms as well. Water makes up 50 to 60% of the mass of the human body. In our next video, we'll be discussing hydrophobic and hydrophilic interactions.